Hey, hello guys, and welcome to our series, series about Databricks. Uh, today we're gonna talk about SQL. So uh, a lot of people knew SQL, a lot of people are uh, using SQL on daily basis, but uh, as far as Databricks goes, few people think that, okay, this is only for Python and Scala, uh, especially Scala since it's primary language uh, for Spark. But uh, since they don't have uh, those skills in their organizations, they don't, don't want to uh, go into Databricks and don't want to use it. But um, especially since Spark 3.0, uh, Spark can be uh, easily used together with uh, SQL and I'm going to show you how. So it's pretty simple when you create a notebook, you just select, uh, you just select a SQL version and you can use SQL in this um, in this notebook, or you can use this uh, percentage sign and then uh, type SQL and just type SQL code beneath. And uh, if you use SQL uh, in Databricks, you gain the uh, query optimization. Uh, Databricks will index, catch and uh, prepare uh, a data scaping for you. Uh, also, if you need to uh, prepare some uh, user-defined user functions inside the, your code, you can easily merge that with uh, Python code, with uh, Java or Scala code, and use it together with um, with SQL. And also, uh, as I said, uh, Spark 3.0 added a lot of new features, uh, including adaptive query optimizer, uh, partition planning, and uh, a lot of other things. So if you want to uh, look into it, just give it a try and uh, go to the documentation. But another thing is that if you use uh, SQL in Databricks, you can easily integrate uh, Databricks and, and uh, Delta, Data Lake with your SQL code. And if you will use uh, Delta Lake together with your SQL uh, solution, then uh, you will uh, gain a lot of uh, additional uh, features such as ACID transactions, uh, you can version your parker, parker files, you can uh, keep a log of all the operations, all the changes that are uh, prepared in your code. You can uh, you can provide you can also time travel, so you can see what the table looked like before the transformation and what what in the change. You can enforce a schema, and the schema can evolve in time. So if you are looking for a proper solution, a whole solution, and if your uh, by any chance your solution is based on the Azure, then it can be easily integrated with data lake storage, and you don't need these skills like uh, Python, Scala, and those those stuff. You can easily go with uh, SQL and use SQL in your solution using Databricks. Thanks.